Hello again, and you join us for a, uh, another test with a Velbus VMB DMI R 400 watt leading edge uh, dimmer of 240 volts. And this time we're testing it with the Fate Electric three color selectable downlights. Ooh, very exciting stuff. Uh, these are a little bit interesting in so much as if you pulse the power when they're on, they should theoretically change color temperature. So according to the piece of paper, we can choose between daylight at 5000 Kelvin, cool white at uh, 4000 Kelvin and soft white at 3000 Kelvin. So not the normal 6, 4 and 2700. And to be honest, not a huge lot of difference between them. But if you are looking for a lamp that is adaptable, these seem to work. So let me explain how they're wired up. We've got uh, the dimmer connected up to the mains. The output of the dimmer goes via a VMB1 RYNO in normally closed mode. So when the relay's relaxed, uh, it just passes power quite happily. And then we've got, on this occasion, two of these Fate Electric uh, downlighters. The actions I've got programmed are your normal dimmer actions, so dim at short press, toggle at long, press and hold, atmospheric dims, whatever you want. They all seem to work quite happily with the dimmer. And then I've got some 415 actions to the relay, and I've got three of those. One of them gives me a one second toggle, another one gives me two one second toggles, and another one gives me three one second toggles. So that should be enough according to the piece of paper. It's available in three languages, none of which I speak. Uh, yeah. uh, should give us daylight, cool white and soft white. So let's just demo the lamps to start with. So here they are on the rig and they are switched off currently. So if I show you 1%, which is always the giveaway for a test. 1, not 10. 1%, you see, yeah, a bit slow to come on, but that's, that's quite acceptable for a little mains replacement LED. Let's jump that up to 10%. And that seems to work. 25% uh, and it's the iris that's kicking that back again. 50% uh, and then up to 100% and that is really quite bright. If I turn the main lights off in here, that's only those lamps giving light in there now. Right, so let's knock them back down to 25% for the sake of this test. There we go, and the camera's burning itself. Okay, so that shows the lamp dimming up and down, and that's working absolutely perfectly. So now let's show you these pulses. So if I give it a one second pulse, that should in theory set it to daylight. Okay, uh, give it a t two one second pulses, and that kind of changes it to cool white. And if we give it three one second pulses, that supposedly has set it to soft white. And yeah, in the room, there's a bit of a difference. It kind of changes, but for my money, not enough to warrant the hassle or the expense of putting a relay in line with the output and having this feature. If I was installing these, I'd be delighted at their performance on the dimmer, I'd leave them in one of the three modes, which is done by a uh, selector switch on the top of them, install them and leave them well alone. However, if you absolutely must have the functionality, it can be achieved with a relay interrupter in line, and that you could use a VMB4RYNO, but then you'd have to activate the relays and invert the operation. So is it worth the faff? But they are working. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, here's the test so thank you very much and we'll see you next time if there's anything else you want me to test or you want something testing or there's some combination you want or some bit of experience uh, reach out to us at training at mdar.co.uk or drop a note in the section below and we'll be, do everything we can to help you